Good afternoon, friends. I, Dr. Devish Pandil, associate professor, Suresh Gyan Vihar University, accredited by NAC A grade. Today, I will discuss about network model. You know, network model is the one of the model of your database model. You know, database database where you will store the information you know your database is the consist from your two word database database management that is your dbms so database where you will store the data and management store the data and manage the data this is your dbms and now here i will discuss about the network model i am sharing my screen i hope uh, you can see my screen you know your database models are hierarchical model network model entity relationship model and uh, your relationship model and the network model is uh, one of the model of uh, database model during this lecture i will discuss about so many topics like your object and outcome of network model and also i will give the overview of your database model also i will give the hierarchical mod model network model network model i will uh, explain in your detail and your entity relationship model hierarchical model and your relationship model i will discuss uh, in, uh, only i will give only overview and uh, er model and your relational model okay first i will discuss about object and outcome of your network model you know network model is one of the model of your database model and uh, database model is the important part of your dbms as per i had told your dbms is the consist from two words database management database where you will store the data and your management you will manage the data you know your software if we will talk about the software software is consist from the two parts first part is your front end and second part is your back end in your front end you will take the many programming language like your c c++ java asp php c sharp and if we will talk about the back end in your back end you will take the database okay you know database is the must compulsory With, without your database any software will not complete like suppose you want to take a yeah you want to make a software of your college management system if you want to make a software of our college management system so you will take front end in your front end you can take the any programming language and also you will take the database because all college information will store in your database like your student information like your teacher information like your courses information like your fees information like your program information etc okay and uh, if uh, you are not having a database so how to access the data how to store the data that's why your database Uh, is the compulsory if you are having a database in your software so you can store the data in your bulky manner and you can access the data from the database like uh, suppose you have to store the one lakh student data in your database and uh, you want to access the 
data of your particular student so that is possible when if you are having the database if you are not having the database so how is possible that's why your database manage dbms is the must compulsory okay and uh, the object of this lecture is to understand the concept of your network model and uh, we will talk about the outcome outcome of uh, this lecture is to how to draw the network network model a student will able to how to draw the network model before discussion about network model i would like to discuss about the database model you know database model define the logical design and structure of a database and define how data will store how data will access how data will update so through the database model either your hierarchical model either your network model either your entity relationship model either your relationship model so through the database model you can uh, define the structure of your database you can also define the logical design of your database and also you will define how you will store the data how you will access the data how you will update the data so that's why your database model is compulsory you know four models are hierarchical network relationship and your er model relationship model is most widely used in your database model why because the relationship model where you will store the data in your tabular format where you will store the data in your two dimensional your one dimensional is for row and second dimension is for column like if you are using a database suppose you are using a database of your student in your student uh, database management system there are so many tables here i am discussing about only one table of your student like your and you want to store the data of your student okay in your student table your student attributes are student name father name mother name address uh, student id etc and you and here you are storing the data of your student so you know when you will store the data of your student so your data will store in your tabular format in your row and column format okay that's why i had told relation model is most widely used in your database model and you know there are four types of database models first is your hierarchical model network model er model and your relational model i had uh, uh, also talked about the hierarchical model and uh, er model and relational model in my uh, previous lectures here i will discuss in briefly about the network model and also i will give the overview of your hierarchical model er model and your relationship model first of all i am giving the overview of your hierarchical model if we will talk about the hierarchical model you know in your hierarchical model your data will store into your tree structure format with a single root in this model if you want to store the data so your data will store in your tree structured format with a single root means in your hierarchical model your single root will exist and the other data is linked from the single root okay and your hierarchy will start from your upper level also you can say that your hierarchy will start from the or root data and uh, your other data will uh, store in your um, other data will be linked from your root form from your root 
So as per I had told you, your hierarchy will start from your root and uh, you will expand like a tree and uh, you will add the child node uh, to the parent nodes. Okay. And uh, in this model, a child node will only have a single parent node. In your hierarchical model, your parent node have only your uh, uh, child node will only have only one parent node. Okay, and the, this model efficiently describe many real world relationship like uh, index uh, of a book uh, recipe. And in your hierarchical model, data is organized into a tree structure format with one to many relationship. You know. There are four types of relationship in your database. First is your one to one. Second is your one to many. And the third is your many to one. And fourth is your many to many. Your one to one means the entity of your one table is linked from the one entity of another table. This is your one to one. And if we will talk about the one to many. So if your one entity of a table will be linked to many entity of another table, this is your one to many. If we will talk about the many to one, many to one means where your many entity will linked from the one entity of another table. And uh, fourth is that many to many where your many entity of a one table will link to many entity of another table so these are the four types of relationship are exist uh, existing in your database model and your hierarchical model will support the only one to many relationship okay you can uh, take the example of your one to many relationship like your department Okay, you know, your department have many courses, your department have many professors, your department have many students, means here you can establish the one to many relationship, your uh, department is only one. And uh, there are many courses, there are many professors, there are many students are existing. Okay, in your one department, that's why you can establish the uh, relationship between the department and, uh, uh, you know, in our department, there are so many professors, there are so many students. And uh, in this uh, diagram, you can see the example of your hierarchical model. Your college your college is your single root okay and you know your department and infrastructure both are child and both are connected from a one parent node you can see in this given slide and also here i had already discussed about the your hierarchical model will support the one to many relationship. So you can see in this given slide, your course teachers, students will connect from the only one department. And as per I had told, there are so many courses are exist in your one department. There are so many teachers and there are so many students. And here you can see your courses, your teachers, your students are connected from your department and your theory and labs are connected from your course. And here you can see your children have only one parent node. In this uh, example, there is no any children who have more than one parent node. All, all of children uh, having only one parent. And uh, after discussed about the network model, here I had also given the overview of a hierarchical model. I am not uh, going to depth of a hierarchical model. And uh, now I will discuss about the network model in depth. Okay. You know, 
your network model your network model is the extension of your hierarchical model you can see that your network model your network model is the extension of your hierarchical model and in this model the data is organized more like a graph and the allowed to have more than one parent node and uh, whereas if we will talk about the hierarchical model so in your hierarchical model your data will store in your tree format and uh, in your hierarchical model uh, only parent uh, or child child node have only one parent node and in your network model you can say that your network model is the uh, extension of your uh, hierarchical model and in this model your data is organized in your like your graph and the allowed to your uh, child node will uh, have more than one parent node okay and uh, you know there are two fundamental concept of a network model first is your record content field which uh, need hierarchical organization okay and the second is that sets are used to define one to many relationship between records that contain one owner many members okay a record may act as a owner in the number of set and a member in the any number of sets okay so you know the main key concept of your network model your data will organize in your network model in a graph format in a like your graph and in your network model more than one parent can exist okay and whereas in your hierarchical model only child node have only one parent node and in your network model your child node have more than one parent node a set is designed with the help of your circular link list where one record type the owner of the set also called a parent you know circular link list here i am uh, giving the overview of your circular link list circular link list is the one of the type of your link list you know your link list where your uh, all nodes will connected through the each other where your one node will connect from the another node and your next node will connect from the another node and you know your node will consist from the two parts first part is your data part and second part is your pointer field will which point to the next pointer and if we will talk about the circular link list circular link list means where your node uh, are organized in your circular fashion where your one node where your first node will connect from your the last node and your last node will connect from the first node okay appears on the e circle and a second type also known as the as the subordinate or your child many appear multiple times in your e circle and you know in your network model a hierarchy is established between any two record types where one type your one type is the is the owner of your another type and uh, at the same time same time another set can be developed where the latter set b is the owner of the former set of your a in this model your ownership is defined by the direction thus all the sets uh, comprise a general directed graph so you know the main key uh, focus point in your network model your network model your more than one parent node can exist okay and here your data will organized in your like your graph and uh, if we will talk about the features uh, of your uh, network model there are so many features uh, of your network model network model has the following features are it can represent redundancy in data redundancy redundancy like your duplicacy 
in your database management system if you will use the normalization so you can re reduce the duplicacy you can reduce the re redundancy okay normalization is the important topic of your database management system if uh, you are not using the normalization in your database management system so your database is nothing because in your database your one record will exist in your uh, many times and if your one record will exist uh, many times in your database so obviously you will face the problem why you will face the problem suppose you you want to uh, update the address uh, of your student okay and your student record and your pedal student record are existing the many times okay so here is the obviously you will face the problem okay that's why your normalization is the most compulsory in your database management system with the normalization you can remove the redundancy you can remove the duplicacy and also you can say that you can uh, through the norm, norm, normalization your duplicacy and your redundancy will reduce okay that's why we will use the normalization there are so many forms of your normalization like your uh, 1nf means first normal form second nf second normal form third nf third normal form and your bcnf bio code normal form here i am not uh, uh, going in your depth of your nor normalization i will discuss about the normalization in my coming upcoming lectures here i had uh, uh, only given the only overview of your normalization okay so it can represent the redundancy in data more efficiently than in the hierarchical model okay in your network model uh, it can represent the redundancy in data more efficiently than the hierarchical model there can be more than one path from a previous node to successor node means if we, if uh, you will draw the network model if you are using the network model so there can be a more than one path from a previous node to the successor node and the operations of the network model are maintained by indexing structure of your linked list where a program maintain a current position and navigate from one record to the another by following the relationship in which the record participates okay and record can also be located by supplying key value in your network model okay key value like your primary key like your candidate key you know primary key in your primary key you can take the one or more than one attribute as a primary key and through the primary key you can identify a particular record you can identify a particular tuple for example suppose you are having a table of your student and you know there are so many students are already stored in your student table and the attributes of your student table are student name student father name student mother name student class student id student passport number student aadhar card number student pin card number and from this table you can identify a particular student you can identify a particular tuple okay so you can identify a particular tuple through the primary key you know here you can take the only one attribute as a primary key is that student id because your student id you can identify a particular student because your student id is unique and if your student id is unique so every student will have independent uh, independent unique id will have unique id that's why you can make the student id as a primary key and also i had uh, already told you can take the one attribute and more than one attribute as a primary key 
so in this uh, given example as per i had told you can take the student id student aadhar card number and student pin card number you know student aadhar card number is unique student pin card number is unique and uh, you can take the more than one attribute like your student id student aadhar card number and your student pin card number okay and through these attributes you can identify a particular student because the definition of your primary key through the primary key you can identify a particular record and you know the following diagram a network i am uh, giving uh, i will uh, mention a diagram in my next ppt of a network model and where your agent represents several clients and many several several in uh, several internet uh, inter and each client schedule any number of uh, engagements and uh, makes payment to the agent for his and her her service each uh, entertainer perform several engagements and may play a variety of musical style i will show you my diagram okay here you can see the diagram of your network model here in this diagram your agents your agents uh, represent the many uh, clients and your agents and your manage entertainment trainers and your clients clients uh, and your clients is client connected to the payments schedule and your entertainers you are perform and your play and payments engagements and your music style so here you can see the diagram of your network model here collection of records is represented by a node and a set of uh, uh, structures help to establish a relationship a network help to the development help to relate a pair of your nodes together by using one node as an owner and the other node as a member you know one to many relationship is managed by a set structures which means that a record in the owner node can be related one or more records in the member node okay additionally a record in the member node cannot exist without being a related to an existing record in the owner node for example your client must be assigned to an agent but an agent with no clients can still be listed in your database here you can see your agents with connect to your clients your agents with connect to your owner node and your set structures and your clients clients is your member okay and you can see in the above diagram so a diagram of your basic set structure one or more so more set can be defined between a specific pair of your nodes and a single node can also be involved in the other set with the other nodes in the database the data can be easily accessed inside a network model with the help of your appropriate set structure in this network model if you are using the network model so through the network model you can access the data in your easier easy way there are no restriction on choosing the root node the data can be accessed by any node and running backward or forward with the help of your related sets
and if we will talk about the advantage of your network model the main advantage of your network model is your fast data access if you will use the network model so through the network model you can access the data in your fastly fastly mode okay means you can access you can fast data access and also another advantage of this model is that it also allow user to create queries that are more complex than those they are created using the hierarchical database so a variety of query can be done over this model these are the advantage of a network model main advantage through the network model if you will draw the network model if you are in the network model so you can access the data in your fast way and uh, if we will talk about the disadvantage of your network model a user must be very familiar with the structure of the database to work through the set structure updating inside the database is a tedious task one cannot change a set structure without affecting the application program that use the structure to navigate through the data if you change a set structure you must most widely or the references made from the within the application program to that structure in this uh, database in this database data is more related as more relationship are established in the database model also as the data is more related hence accessing the data is also easier and fast i had all uh, already told about that if you want to access the data through the hierarchical model and uh, network so in your network model you can access the data in your fast way the database model was used to many to many data relationship in your you know in your hierarchical model your relationship is to your one to many and uh, in your network model your relationship will exist to many to many data relationship you can see here your a will connected from your b1 b2 your c1 c2 connected from your b1 your c2 connected from your b2 and c3 connected from your b2 here you can see as per i had told here is more than one parent is allowed your c2 is your child node and your c2 uh, has the more than one parent node b1 and your b2 and uh, about the er model i had already discussed about the er model in my past lectures uh, but uh, here i am giving the overview of your er model er model like your stand entity relationship model where you will define the relationship between entities and you know what is entity entity is a person place or thing and uh, your entity will have some features your entity will have some characteristics okay like your student student is your entity table table is your entity teacher teacher is your entity and your characteristics of your student characteristics of your uh, teacher characteristics of your table if uh, i will take the student as a teacher student as a entity the so student name father name mother name student id student roll number etc these are the all characteristics of the of uh, student if you will take the teacher as a entity your uh, teacher id your teacher name father teacher father name teacher salary teacher date of joining these are the all attributes all characteristics of your teacher entity if you will take the table as our as our entity so your table diameter table cost table height table width these are the all characteristics of your table okay you know characteristics and features of your entity is called the attributes okay your entity classified will uh, within two category first is your uh, tangible entity and the second is your intangible entity tangible entity are those entity who are exist in your 
real life in your physical manner like your car your person is your physical uh, tangible entity because these are all will exist in your real life in your physical manner and the second second is your tangible and uh, intangible entity intangible entity is just a reverse of your tangible entity intangible entity are those entity who will not exist in your real world in your physical manner like your bank account and uh, if we will talk about the types of your entity so there are so many types of your entity like your uh, strong entity and your weak entity a strong entity a strong entity are those entity who have key attribute okay like your uh, student is your entity and the student date of birth student id student uh, roll number these are the all attributes of our student so here your student id is your key attribute student roll number is your key attribute because behalf of your student id and your uh, student uh, roll number you can identify a particular student so your student will be a strong entity and uh, if we will talk about the weak entity so your weak entity just reverse of a strong entity your weak entity are those entity who have no any key attribute is called the weak entity and also you can say that if your one entity is depend on your another entity so is called the weak entity okay and now i am giving the overview of your attribute attribute as per i had told all characteristics or at all features of your entity is called the attributes and uh, there are so many types of your attribute like your simple attribute multiple attribute your uh, key attribute your uh, derived attribute your single valued attribute your composite attribute if we will talk about the simple attribute simple attribute means if you cannot broken this attribute it's called the simple attribute means your simple attribute are those attribute who cannot broken who cannot break like your age you can't break the age you can't divide the age this is your simple attribute okay composite attribute if you can divide the attribute in the many sub attributes like your name like your address name will divide in your first name middle name and your last name address is divided in your street pin code city area colony okay and if we will talk about the single value attribute who at uh, single value at what those are, those are uh, attribute who have only single value like your age like your date of birth both are single attribute and if we will talk about the multi valued attribute multi valued attribute are those attributes who have more than one value like your uh, student mail id student uh, phone number because your one student can have more than one phone number one student can have more than one mobile number this is your uh, multi valued attribute if we will talk about the derived attribute your derived attribute is not directly present in your is not a physical present in your database you can derive the attribute from the another attribute like if your data date of birth is mentioned in your database in your one column and you want to derive the age age is not physically mentioned in your database so you can derive the age from your date of birth okay this is your derived attribute and your key attribute your key attribute from which you can identify a particular record you can identify a particular tuple is called the key attribute this is the overview of your er model here you can see this uh, example in your database i am not uh, giving the detail of er model because i had already discussed in my previous lectures and uh, you know i will give the overview of your relational model 
relational model means where your data will organize in your tabular format where your data will organize in your row and column format in your two dimensional format your one dimension is for row and second dimension is for column for example you can see in this given slide your data is organized into your tabular format two dimensional format and here i am i have taken the some questions which are related from this uh, lecture which of the following gives a logical structure the database graphically you know entity relationship diagram gives a logical structure of database graphically okay and i had already discussed about uh, the entity relationship diagram in this lecture the entity relationship set is represented in er diagram okay so you know your entity relationship set is a uh, represent in your uh, er diagram okay and answer is d the rectangles divided into two parts represents entity set relationship set attribute relationship set and your primary key so you know your answer is your entity set the rectangles divided into two parts which represent the entity set consider a direct line from the relationship set as well as to both entity set structure and student the indicate you know indicate the one to one cardinality we indicate roles in a er diagram by labeling the lines that connect to a diamond and your rectangle you know when you will represent the entity so your entity will always represent in your rectangle and when you will represent the relationship between the entity so your relationship will represent in your diamond shape for a weak entity set to a meaningful it must be associated with another entity set called the you know identifying set you know weak entity i had already discussed if your one entity is depend on your another entity if your entity who have no any key attribute is called the weak entity an entity set that does not have a sufficient attributes to form a primary key is termed as you know your weak entity set about the weak entity set i had already discussed weak entity set is represent as a you know your double diamond and your uh, strong entity your strong entity is represent in your single rectangle okay and your here is your answer your double rectangle not a diamond okay your answer is d double rectangle not a double diamond your weak entity set okay you know your weak entity set your weak uh, entity if you are one entity is depend on your another entity and if we will talk about the strong entity so your strong entity are those entity who have only who have key attribute and uh, if we you are collecting and storing information about your music collection and album would be considered relation entity stands and your attribute to obviously is that entity after study this lecture student will able to about the network model how to draw the network model what are the advantage and disadvantage of your network model i i hope you have to understood
uh, about the concept of your network model. Thank you.